It seems like everyone and their granddad has a course on React these days. And with more employers looking for developers with React skills, now's a great time to learn it. But which React course is worth your time, money, and sanity? Well, today we're looking at the five best React courses along with some honorable mentions and the video starts right now. I wanna give a shout out to my awesome Patreons and YouTube channel members for making this video possible. Join the crew at patreon.com forward slash realtoughcandy or hit the join button beneath this video. Hey developers, how's it going? It's Real Tough Candy from realtoughcandy.io popping on for another video today. We are taking a look at my top five picks for React courses for the 2020-2021 school year. There are gonna be some people here you've perhaps heard of, maybe some people you haven't heard of and platforms you haven't heard of. We're gonna give you a good mix today of React courses. We also have some honorable mentions coming up, but I'm not gonna waste your time with this. Let's get into it. My first pick on this list is Andre Negoy's Complete React Developer in 2021 with Redux, Hooks, and GraphQL. Now this is a longer React course. You might even call it a Whopper with 355 lessons. There is one massive e-commerce application where you use Redux, Hooks, GraphQL, Context, API, Stripe, and Firebase. So it's full stack. As you can see by the title, this has been updated going into 2021. This is really important with web development technologies. I'll pop into the course here and give you a little tour. Now, as you may have noticed, this course is not on Udemy, although most of you probably know this guy from his popular Udemy courses, his Zero to Mastery series. He now has his own platform uh, with membership tiers. If you're just looking for a course that deals strictly with React and nothing else, I think this course might be a little bit too much. Uh, because as you can see down here, you're working a lot with Firebase, user authentication, and this backend stuff. We also have a section on Stripe payments. Again, if you're just trying to focus on React, this section is probably not important to you. Uh, deploying to production, getting that e-commerce app out there to the world. There's a lot more stuff on Advanced Redux and Firebase, and the list goes on. This course also covers GraphQL, which a lot of people are interested in in addition to React. So this is the course I recommend if you're looking for the complete package, uh, getting into React, building a massive project, and then learning these adjacent technologies, which can come in really handy. Number two on my list is called Create a Front-End App with React. Now, this is on Codecademy, specifically Codecademy Pro. A lot of cool stuff is free on Codecademy, but the really cool stuff you got to pay for, they have monthly and annual subscriptions for the Pro. The Pro, in my opinion, if you're serious about web development, it's almost always worth the upgrade. I did a review on this platform earlier uh, this year, but I'm also gonna be doing a lot more in-depth reviews on my sister channel, Tech Course Review. This Create a Front-End app with React is actually a learning path. And what that means is that you get a collection of courses. So you're getting that quick overview of JavaScript and React and then getting into writing JavaScript. Then down here, JavaScript functions, arrays and loops, they really give you a thorough introduction to JavaScript, which is so important. Down here in module five is introduction to React. Finally, in module nine or course nine, there is one project, it's a capstone called Jamming. And this is where you're gonna build a React app for custom playlists and you're gonna combine multiple components, interactive search functionality and requests to the Spotify API. You can do everything in the browser and it's interactive. So right here is my actual JavaScript file and I can start coding obviously not gonna um, do much if I save it, but it has the console right here and you can do everything without any downloads or any extra bits. You can just get right to it. So getting up and running is really encouraging. The other thing I really like about this course or this collection of courses is that it's very modular and it's very bite-sized. So as you can see here, the tasks are very simple. Um, challenging, but simple. You know, they're one and two line challenges. Write a comment above that explains this line of code. Celsius is similar to Kelvin, the only difference, blah, blah, blah. Convert Kelvin to Celsius. They really do take it step by step so you feel like you're making progress. And by the time you get to the next lesson, you know, you've done 10, 15, 20 little things um, and you're building on your skills without even really thinking about it. Codecademy Pro's landing page is really intelligent too because it shows me where I left off and then it suggests a practice section. So right here on the right, they tell me, okay, it's gonna take 10 minutes, this JavaScript introduction and React overview. So I can just click that and start practicing what I learned. Again, this skill path is create a front end app with React 
through Code Academy Pro. Number three on the list, we're going to one of my favorite platforms for 2020 going into 2021, Educative. I love this platform. There are no videos. So if you learn better with text and interactive code editors and code snippets and illustrations, check out Educative. This course is called React for Front-End Developers. Backed by Facebook, this path will equip you with the skills to build outstanding apps in React, take the leap, become a front-end dev, and then sort of like Codecademy Pro, they have these modules, module one, module two, all the way to module five. And in this one, you start with the fundamentals, then you go on to more advanced things like components, props, styling, redux, and flux, and then you integrate Firebase with React. So this is kind of like the Andre Negway course too, where a big chunk of the curriculum is dedicated to integrating Firebase with React. So this is called Why Use Firebase in React. This is just reading right here with with illustrations and text. Eventually throughout this course, you go onto certain pages and certain lessons and you're able to interact with the code. So here's a snippet right here. Scroll down here and right in the browser, you can run the code. It will show me errors because I'm not doing anything. And you get some options down here to customize this screen and customize your workflow. This educative course is also one where they show you how to use TypeScript with React. TypeScript is awesome if you're not a big fan of JavaScript. TypeScript makes things a lot more bearable. Um, And if you do like JavaScript, TypeScript just makes it better in a lot of cases. In this course, you're not building any big projects. In fact, it's not until the last module where you're building a counter app. Now that's pretty basic, probably not something you want to include in a portfolio, but if you're just trying to get a feel for React, you're not trying to spend 80 hours building a project, this could be a good option for you. This was number three, React for Front-End Developers by Educative. Number four, this one's by Kyle Cook. He's the guy behind Web Dev Simplified. He has a channel here on YouTube. Check it out, really great channel. This course is called Learn React Today. And the premise behind this course is to get you in here, get you out, build you a project. And by the end of the day, like literally by the end of today, you can learn the basics of React and be up and running with it. This is in stark contrast to the Andre Negoy course, which is 40 plus hours. If you really don't have a lot of time, I recommend this course by Kyle Cook. Uh, This made my list of last year's top React courses and it's making it again this year. Even though this course is short, you do build a pretty neat project and it's a recipe app. So you can add recipe cards. Um, It's a pretty straightforward CRUD app, but it looks really neat and you can customize it and modify it in ways that bring it beyond this this functionality. Although to be fair, the first project is a counter application. Uh, This one is not very long at all. Thankfully, he doesn't bore you to death. It's just a few lessons where you start building something trivial. And then after that is when you get into the cooking, the recipe app. Learn React Today by Kyle Cook, number four. And finally, number five, the Modern React Bootcamp Hooks, Context, Next.js, and Router by the one, the only, Colt Steele. Now, as you may notice down here, it was last updated May 2019. Under normal circumstances, I would be hesitant to recommend a React course that has not been updated since this time. However... The projects in this course are very fun, they're very diverse, and they're beginner to intermediate and even advanced. For example, the Pokédex project, the dice exercise, the hangman exercise, the lights out game, the vending machine exercise, the dad jokes app. It goes on and on. There's Yahtzee. There's a color project. The color project is the big one here. So if you're looking for something that may be closer to portfolio ready, again, always good to put your twists on them, but something of a little more substance, the color project is pretty intense. And this is a nearly 40 hour course. You're gonna be busy with this one. However, I do wanna emphasize that some of the implementations may give you some errors. You may have some problems installing things because the last update was May, 2019, and we don't even know what was updated. It could have been a typo fix, you know, added a comma instead of a period or whatever. This course also does not teach you Redux. So if that's something you know you wanna learn or think you should learn, this probably is not the course for you. 
All right, honorable mentions. Those were my top five. Let me tell you about two honorable mentions. The first honorable mention, Stephen Grider's Modern React with Redux 2020 update. Now, I have not taken this course, but so many people have told me, RTC, this course is awesome. This is how I learned React. So one of these days, I will have to enroll in this course and share with you behind the scenes what's going on. Uh, that is Stephen Grider on Udemy. And honorable mention number two, React, the complete guide, including hooks, React Router, and Redux by Maximilian Schwarzmuller. That is also on Udemy. That is also one I haven't personally taken, but so many people have said, you know, RTC, put this one on your list. So eventually on my second channel, again, Tech Course Review, check it out. To review the top five React courses in 2020, 2021. Number one, the complete React developer in 2021 with Redux, Hooks, and GraphQL on zero to mastery. Number two, create a front end app with React on Code Academy Pro. Number three, React for front end developers on Educative. Number four, learn React today by Kyle Cook, aka Web Dev Simplified. And number five, the modern React bootcamp with Hooks, Context, Next.js, and Router by Colt Steele. There you have it, developers. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of these courses. As always, hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.